Since Friday, 300 homes have been damaged or destroyed, including 50 more just yesterday. Tonight, the forecast is bleak. Fires near me. Search New South Wales. So fishing has been really tough at the moment around the, around the ocean just because of how much salt water there is. Funny, funny to say that because fish live in the salt water. But at the moment, all the fish are chasing the bait up in the brackish. So we've had to take a trip out west, but half the state's on fire at the moment. And we have to be really careful where we head because at the moment, that there is all fire and we're not too far from there but I guess the good thing is that's all state forest and there's a lot of paddock between state forest and where I am staying I rocked up and I thought I'm just gonna sleep at the boat ramp but I didn't realize there's a cop cop shop directly opposite the road but shouldn't matter I'm gonna go to sleep anyway I'll pop the tent and go to sleep I just wait till a little bit later on till everyone settled down I actually ran into some um, people when I first started sleeping on the road uh, a couple of uh, old timers that have been doing it for years and they all said to me that the safest place to sleep if you've got nowhere else to sleep the safest place to sleep is at the cop shop so I don't think they're gonna mind everyone I run into at the um, at the last boat ramp I was at everyone like I must have run into about six people and they all said that the fishing is better upstream so it took us about four I think it was 41 or 42 minutes 41, 42 minutes, that's what the map said. West of where we last were, I'm pretty excited. It's a new area. The last area did not pay off for me at all. Pretty excited to get on the water tomorrow. We're gonna pop the tent and, um, and hit the hay, but we're gonna have to keep an eye on that fire over the next couple of days. See you on the water tomorrow. There are more than 40 fires burning unchecked. There is no rain forecast, just a long, hot summer ahead. So we're starting out this morning with a cicada. If there's one top water lure, the, the bass are gonna smash. Oh, finally, we get a good cast. Oh man. Oh, oh I panicked. <laughs> oh, we just got nailed. I got one finally good cast. This morning we haven't started off so well. As much as I like to talk up my casting ability, casting cicadas underneath trees is not a strong point of mine. No, yep, so right in the tree. Smoke on the water, fire in the sky. Well, we've had one hit so far this morning and that is why, because we can't cast. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yes. You know what's funny? I was just thinking man-made objects. Fish love man-made objects. Bang. Pipe in the water. Fish on. Let's tighten that up a little bit more, hey? Top of water explosion. Oh, he's just a little fella. How good is that? First fish in four sessions though. We gotta you gotta be happy with that. Hey hey hey, settle down, settle down, settle down. Check out that one. Beautiful little bass. 
Gee, healthy too, really healthy. First little bass of the morning. He's a tiny little one, isn't he? One of the cicada though, would say he's around that high 20s. What a beautiful looking fish. Cleaned up, we've had one surface hit and then this guy nailed it. I was just thinking to myself, there was a pipe in the water. And I was just thinking to myself, man-made structure. Fish love man-made structure, bang. First fish on. Let's get this guy back in. You're all right. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, some more man-made structure. That's got to be. Oh, that was right in the... Oh, no. Oh, that was right in the doldrums, that one right up in the back court he had it too that cast deserved a fish it was so far back up in there oh, yeah that one come on right time to move up to the next corner i've just been fishing the corners go up drift back with the current the corners on the shady side there we go. We're gonna try this XD pointer. Got a message from someone saying that gold works really well up here. Gold and orange. And I was like, oh, I have a gold XD pointer. Yeah, no. It's already tied on. Had a new plan. Tried the um, deep diver, not a lot of luck. So we're gonna try the prawn out. Bass love prawns, little crayfish, things like that. Yes! Oh, he let it go. Oh, it was in his mouth. I felt the tap and then I just like left it because I didn't know what was going on. Oh, you're kidding. I felt like a good fish too. Did you see it like starting to pull drag and then the hook just come out. I guess that's what the Americans do when they set the hook. Yes, got that one. Finally. That feels like a good fish. That feels like a really good fish. Oh man. What's going on? That feels like a really good bass. Wow. I've never had a bass put up this much of a fight. Surely, can't be a bass. That's a solid fish if it is. Come on, let me have a look at you. Must have foul hooked a mullet. Oh. Dirty, great, big catfish. You're joking me. Oh man, it's a massive catfish. No wonder he put up a great fight. Oh, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> that is a huge catfish. I don't even know they got up here. Look at that. Look at the spike in the top there. That thing's deadly as. On a prawn, looks so realistic that if I took it to Christmas lunch, grandma would probably try and, try and peel it. Not what we're after at all. As far as catfish goes, she's a beauty. Look at that. What a stonker. 
Well, the prawn's getting the nibbles. Yep. Oh, that's a bass. That's a better bass. Got to be a bass. Yes. <laughs> Crunch the prawn. Woohoo! Now we're starting to find them. Yeah, boy. She's been a slow old start. Oh, right down the gob. Corn does the job. Look at that beauty. Woohoo! Second bass for the morning. We've missed a few. Got that big old stinking catfish. I want the big dogs, but there's another one. I thought he was a lot bigger than that. He's absolutely climbed all over that prawn. Everyone was telling me the hard bodies were the way to go, but I thought I'd give the prawn a crack and it seems to be doing the job. Slow fishing, calls slow techniques, I reckon. That's, uh, that's my new theory. Prawn is doing the damage. It's two fish, one of them not so great. That's all right. Just got that with the natural weight on there, so it just really slowly sinks. It's just in against this edge here. Oh, straight out of the same snag! No way! <laughs> Bang, this one's a better one. Oh, he's only just hooked. No way! Bang! How's that? Go away, flies. He's a bit better, he's a bit better. Third little bass for the morning. Check him out on the prawn again. Same, literally, bang, straight back in the same place. This guy's come out and just annihilated it on the prawn again. Flies. How good is that? Third bass. Let's get him back in. Surely not another one in here. Oh. got whacked. It's got whacked twice in there. Yep. Oh, is he around the stick? I think he's around the stick already. Gee, they go into the snags quick and I hold pressure on him. See if I can get him out. I don't know if he's still there. Oh, he's bricked me. Ah, oh, felt him whack twice on the cast before. Clever little bastard. Look at that. Totally munted the prawn. I'll give him, I'll give him that. Well done, sir, well done. I felt him whack twice on the cast before, got it back in there. Yeah, <laughs> felt the double tap then. Not the biggest one, a little albino. How's that? Not worth really a good camera little shot, but just a little albino one. Bang, nails the prawn. Loving the prawn. 
I met a bloke at the ramp this morning. He's um he's out fishing. I wonder if he's having as much success in what he's fishing with. I'll ask him when I get back. Bang, check it out. Little bass. Ah. Quick release. He's gone. I knew that was gonna happen. On this incoming tide. I don't know whether it's the incoming tide, but I was not having much luck this morning or whether it's the prawn change. There's a turtle on that log. It's coming up for a... That was another bite just then. Yeah, I don't know whether it's the tide change or on that incoming or whether it's whether it's this prawn that's finally sort of got them fired up. But they, um, if you get it in the right zones, they cannot resist this prawn. It's just about finding those right zones because there's a lot of water to cover. There we go. There's another one. Another little fella. Oh, there he goes. If they're not hitting it within the first one or two feet of the bank, it's kind of like just leave it. Just bring it back in and cast again. Nothing of size yet. See all these people are radically hopping their prawns, but if you look, watch a prawn move along. Oh, that's a fish on for sure. If you watch a prawn move along on the bottom, all it does, all I do is just like a quarter turn and then let it sink back to the bottom again. And then you wait for the fish to find it. Because if it looks like a prawn, the fish are going to have it. I mean, they can't. Oh, they, oh, he had a nibble. He had a nibble. There we go. If it looks like a prawn, they're going to have a nibble. And bang, straight on. Look at that. Woohoo! All these people like whipping their prawns up, unless you're fishing for jewies. Even jacks, I just slow roll it along the bottom. There you go, bang. On again. Nothing of size yet, but we're going to keep at it. I mean, I've got all day, nothing else to do. I might hang around tomorrow if the fishing's this good. But yeah. Not sure what people, not sure what people are doing, whipping their prawns up and down. Even for jacks, I got a smoke the other day, slow rolling the prawn along the bottom. Well guys, that's it for day one on the water. Uh, we just got back actually, and I met him before I went out there. I actually heard his voice. I was in the rooftop tent, and all I hear is, oh, bloody hell, it's Timmy the turtle. You were in like at 4.30 in the morning and I thought, I thought he was talking to someone, got out, it was just him. So his name is Pelican, he actually shuffles between here and another house and he said, while you're in town, feel free, make yourself at home. So uh, he took me around, showed me all his favourite lures. He's got more lures in his house than I've seen in most tackle shops I've been into. The guy just collects lures. He actually just had it off but he's been telling me stories all afternoon. Um, of up north Queensland on his fishing trips and it kind of makes me not want to head south anymore. We're going to hang out here for the next couple of days, go through the footage, and we're going to get back out there and see if we can catch some um, some more bass. Uh, wasn't happy with the size we got today. There was a fishing comp here not too long ago where people actually got some, um, some decent sized bass. So I'm going to head out in the next couple of days when I get a chance and see if I can um, have another crack at it. Anyway guys, I'm going to start going through the footage and I'm going to catch you guys on the water tomorrow hopefully and uh and yeah hopefully we can catch some more bass and less doggies <laughs> Gee, that took a while. Oh, 32, 33. That's probably the biggest one so far. 33 to the fork, and I think it was 36 to the tippy tip, tippy tip top. But it's been a slow morning, hasn't it? Sun didn't come out this morning, and bang, she's on. Chuck him back in.
There we go. There's another one. There we go. Now we're getting there. Found a little patch of them. Oh. I think he's a bit bigger again. I felt the bite and I got it straight back in there and he, he's come out and clobbered it on the prawn. I love this thing. Give him a quick measure. There we go. Upgraded again, little 37 model. Getting closer, getting bigger. Put him back in. Whoosh, there he goes. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a better one. Oh. He hit it on the wind out. There we go. Oh, yeah. Getting up there now, aren't we? He's better. He's way better. Oh, real healthy. Still only that 35 mark. On the prawn again. Check that out. Beautiful bass. He's probably the most healthiest. Still again that 35, 36 mark. Today's been a little bit better size-wise chasing them, but it's been a bit slower in the morning. Beautiful looking bass, isn't he? Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I'm gonna get him back in. You're biting down. Why aren't you going? Come on. Oh, that's a good fish. Gee, he hit that hard. That's a good fish. That's a bass too. That's not a doggy. Oh, it is too. You're kidding me. What the hell? I swear I saw a bass come out of the water. Well, you don't have to go to Vanuatu to get doggy on the light gear, do you? Look at that. Another cracking doggy. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Stop, just stop for two seconds. I'm gonna get you off and I'm not even gonna, you're not even gonna feel a thing, mate. You're not even gonna feel a thing. There you go. There we go, getting it done again, aren't we? You're kidding me, mate, you're kidding me. Jeez, he crunched that. And then he's up out of the water. I thought, far out, we got a good bass here. It's a good snag too. I got it right in on a good calf. Oh man, I just got hit again. Maybe it's a school of doggies. There we go. That's a bass out of the same snag. Yep, bass, I can see it. I can see this one. There we go. Oh, yes. These are a lot better than yesterday's fish, aren't they? Absolutely just crunching it. Right on that 35 mark, this guy. Banged another one, Mum. How good's that? Thanks for coming, son. Let's get him back in. They are just loving that thing. Can't get enough of it. Yep, 
Oh, bang, hit it right at the edge there. Not a very big one, this one. Another one on the board this morning. That is number six, I believe. Nothing of any any um, size. 35 is not really. As far as bass go, 35, well, that's not 35, but we got to find a couple more. I think we've got to find some bigger ones. Surely there's some bigger ones floating around. But here he goes. I thought there might have been another one in there because that hit it so fast, I thought they might have been competing. Yeah, oh! that he had that I wonder if he felt the hooks surely he ripped it out he's back again no way look at that straight back in straight back on maybe he didn't feel the hooks This one's got some go, didn't he? Oh, I think we have a new PB. New PB for this morning. Oh, yes. There we go. Look at that donkey what we come here for something over 40 that's actually a really decent bass and he's healthy as 42 39 to the fourth there we go look at that thing that thing is an absolute tank look at that 42 centimeter bass beautiful Gob down the prawn, bang in there. Such a good looking fish. Look at that, what an awesome fish. That is what we come out here for. Something a little bit bigger than 35. Still got a long way to go. They go up to 60, 60 plus. So we can keep upgrading, but yeah, he's a good healthy fish too. Really healthy. Ah, 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 ah. Settle down. Yeah. Look at that. I actually had him hit. I don't know whether it was him or another one, but hit, didn't hook up. I thought I'll get one back in there and then bang, he just all over it, eh? Right on that point. 